People tend to assume that AJ and I travel together all the time, and that's just not the case. We actually don't get the opportunity to travel with each other very often. So this trip to Hill City, South Dakota, the Mount Rushmore area, is actually kind of a special one for us. This trip was pretty cool. We got contacted by the Chamber of Commerce in Hill City, uh, South Dakota, and they wanted to invite us out to come experience the Black Hills. The actual town of Hill City is super unique as well because there's so much history here. I mean, I don't know when it dates back to, but it's old. So when you drive in and when you show up, you know there's heritage, you know there's history. This area is without a doubt one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It has a really down-home feel. It has a welcoming feel. Everybody in the town loves that you're there. They don't care if you're muddy. They don't care if you're rolling in on your side-by-side -side or ATV. They just love that you're there, hanging out with them. The Hill City Chamber of Commerce is the group who brought us out to Hill City. And when we first pulled in, our contact, Jerry Cole, from the Chamber of Commerce, met us there. And he met us with Bob, who is a uh, uh, local uh, barbecue connoisseur. I was reading Dirt Tracks magazine, and why why it was sent to us, I don't know, but uh, it was always on my desk every month and I always read it. I got an idea, I took it to the board and said, uh, let's go see if we bring the crew out and I'll talk to uh, Dirt Tracks Television, see if we can get them out here. We were able to meet up with these guys. They were gonna ride with us. They were gonna take care of us while we were there. They were gonna show us the sights and just make sure that all around we were gonna have a good time and know exactly where to go. There's nothing better than going to an awesome destination and getting to ride awesome side by side. So uh, we called Arctic Cat and they hooked us up with two Wildcats, a Wildcat Trail and a Wildcat Sport. The Wildcat Trail was a limited model and uh, it just basically has some cool graphics and other upgrade features, but it's a very low slung vehicle. So it handles great, it's low to the ground and, and the trail model's 50 inches wide. I'd never ridden a sport before, but I'd put a lot of time in on the trail in the past season, and the trail is a great little vehicle. 50 inches wide, 700cc motor that performs more like an 850, but because I'd never ridden the sport before and Luke had a little bit of seat time in it, I opted to go for the sport, which is the wider 60-inch version. It still has the same 700 motor, but it was also a limited, so it had cool Elka Stage 5 suspension that's fully adjustable, had power steering, had the cool wheels and tires. We were definitely geared up. Arctic Cat hooked us up, and they gave us some rigs that were going to be a whole lot of fun for this week. Once we finished looking over the vehicles, it was time to ride, so we got our gear on. The first part of the ride to get to the trail network is to ride directly through town. You can ride your side-by-side, -side, your ATV, on any street, any highway that is not an actual interstate. You can ride your ATV and side-by-side -side at the same speed that cars go. I don't know anywhere else that you can do that in the US. There might be a couple places, but this is extremely unique. So we were able to just put our gear on, jump in the side-by-sides and drive right from the Hill City Chamber of Commerce and go to the trailhead. The first trail we hit was just a really cool tour way up on top of the hill. Uh, the terrain was rocky but smooth, which seems like a contradiction, but it works in this area. Um, our Wildcat 700s handled it perfectly. They, uh, they handled the rocks but had more than enough power to get us up the steep stuff. And it seemed like Bob and Jerry were beginning to trust AJ and I in our driving after a little bit. Trails and recreational ATV and side-by-side -side riding in this trail system are relatively new in this area. They're only five or six years old. So there hasn't been a whole ton of people out here to experience them. However, they are still very easily accessible, well-marked, and a lot of fun. They're not like completely overrun. They're not all rutted out. It's not crazy. It's, it's fresh and we almost had a feeling like like we were some of the first people to go out and do this, which is really cool. Well, when the Forest Service uh, enacted the trail system, they pieced together a series of trails and roads that uh, you can now ride over 3,000 miles of trails and roads uh, that are legal to ride in the Black Hills. During the ride, uh, Jerry leaned over to me and said that he knew of a really cool spot in the area that he wanted to take us, something that not a lot of people even knew was there, and he wanted us to go there and, and check it out. So that was where we headed uh, as a destination for our first day.
This spot is known as the Sand Mines, and it's an old silica sand mine from uh, the 40s, I guess. And basically back then, they just dug straight into the side of this mountain and mined the silica. And when you look at it from the outside, it looks just like three great big holes in the wall of sand. But the reality is, it goes way back in there, and you can go a long way inside those mines and explore as long as you've got a flashlight. They tell us, hey, grab a flashlight, grab your phone with the light on it, and let's let's walk inside. So I'm thinking, okay, these go in probably, you know, 20, 30 feet, and they're just little tunnels into the wall. But turns out they go way the heck back in there. What the AJ and I and, and the guys stopped and really explored every little nook and cranny inside the sand mines and saw a lot of old history in there and evidence of, of mining. I realize it's like a profound thought, but I think to myself, if there was a time when somebody walked out of here for the last time, you know, it was like, all right, we're done. And then they walked out that door for the last time and they never came back until somebody else found it years later. When we left the sand mines, we had to drop Jerry and Bob off. They had some things to do that afternoon, which gave AJ and I the opportunity to turn things up a notch and, uh, and put a few extra miles on at a higher rate of speed. Wide trails, literally almost two side-by-sides wide, and you could run at high speeds, very safe, and, and have no concern of anything. I mean, honestly, these trails out here, they just keep going on and on and on, and they're all beautiful. I mean, we rode for 50 miles just in the afternoon and didn't see the same trail twice. We saw a lot of scenery and we saw a lot of variety, but not the same trail, which leads me to believe that the trails here really are almost endless. We were able to pick up the pace. Uh, there was some water out there and we were able to slide through some some puddles at high speed. Um, I got gnarly dirty. Luke was riding behind me for this section. He got gnarly dirty, but we had a blast. On this section of trail, it was pretty clear. AJ had an advantage with that 60 inch wide Wildcat, but the trail handled great. And uh, there certainly was nothing it couldn't do. It rode good through the bumps, what little bumps there were. It handled the mud really well. I would have liked to have had a windshield and some doors maybe, but uh, other than that, it didn't get stopped by anything we encountered. And Generally speaking, you're just very comfortable in this vehicle. Power steering makes it easy to drive, and there's always enough power on tap, no matter what obstacle you encounter. It was a blast. We, we got to this trail system by side by side. We rode there, and we went back to the place that we were staying by side by side. How cool is that? By the end of the first ride day, AJ and I had put on some serious miles. We've ridden some of the best trails I've ever ridden, and we got pretty muddy in the process. So we were ready to uh, call it a night, have a meal, and uh, get ready for day two, which was really the day we were gonna experience a lot of the extracurricular activities you can do in Hill City. The Black Hills of South Dakota, Hill City area is such a beautiful spot. I mean, honestly, it's, it's like nowhere else in North America. And what they have and what they have to offer is just a grand scale. I mean, South Dakota does it big. And what I mean by that is monuments. Obviously, the most impressive thing about this area is definitely Mount Rushmore. And AJ and I visited Mount Rushmore when we were just little kids. I remember being in the car with them. I remember driving up to Rushmore. I remember them driving me crazy while we were there. Um, but this was different because we were doing it on side-by-sides. We arrived at Mount Rushmore really early in the morning, so there was nobody else there. Nobody else was crazy enough to be up that early. It kind of gave it like a VIP special kind of permission entrance type deal. It felt very special. It felt like the park was just open for us that day, which it wasn't, but there was no one else on site. We got to just, you know, park on the parking ramp, 
walk up the front steps and you're going through the avenue of flags where they have every flag from every state in the U.S. They have the dates from when they joined the Union, which is really unique. Mount Rushmore itself is spectacular, a little bit breathtaking to think how much work went into this, how much effort and how long ago it happened, how much technology they didn't have to accomplish this goal. It really kind of takes some time to get your mind around it, but we had a good time checking it out, spending some time just kind of soaking up the ambiance of the area and, uh, and reminiscing about the times that AJ and I had been there years ago. So seeing as we were at Rushmore and we were all geared up and had everything on, um, when we were done sort of experiencing that in the monument, we thought, well, let's go back out and do some more trails. And we rode right from Rushmore back to the trail system again. How cool is that? A little higher speed this time, a little less uh, kind of mud puddles, but more established mud holes. And we definitely took it up a notch as AJ and I always do when we're riding together. There was way more mud here. Um, it got really greasy in a couple of areas. Uh, there was some cool little jumps that we could launch off of. And it was just, again, kind of a, a free for all. Hey, go out, have fun, ride safe, get really muddy and experience all that these wildcats could offer and what the Hill City area trails could offer us. The Wildcat Sport truly shines here. I mean, it's big, it's wide, it's got Elka Stage 5s on it, power steering, and a motor that really wants to perform. So I was able to open it up, get it sideways. I was able to lead just because I had the better suspension and was able to really go through stuff, you know, a little more aggressively. I got coated following AJ, trying to keep as close to him as I possibly could and uh, it was a blast. I don't mind being muddy like that if, uh, if we're having fun doing it, and we certainly had a lot of fun doing it. Jerry from the Hill City Chamber had organized um, for our kind of last stop to be able to bring the side-by-sides into town um, and experience uh, sort of the town culture, experience some of the people who own shops and businesses within the town, and just sort of rub shoulders with them. There was food and there was beverages and we were able to show them a side-by-side -side and what it was all about. And I think there's a bunch of people in that area who really didn't understand the kind of fun you could have. We met some great people. Uh, we had a great time. They're definitely welcoming there. They loved that we were there. They loved that we brought our side-by-sides. They were happy to have us there and they'd happy to have you there too. Anybody who wants to show up in Hill City is gonna be welcomed and have fun. There's no question about that. I think what Luke and I were left with when we departed from Hill City is a feeling of history and uniqueness in this area because there is so much to offer so far beyond just the exceptionally good trails there is a history in this part of the united states that your family is going to appreciate they're going to be able to see just the amazing things that man has done in this area of the united states we had tons of fun there was never a shortage of extracurricular activities to keep you or your family busy. Um, we found lots of stuff to keep us entertained. And as ATVers and side-by-side -side riders, the most important thing is there's no shortage of awesome trails. And we certainly explored as many as we could. This was a, a trip that AJ and I got to do together. We got to form some more memories and it's one I will never forget. Like the video you just saw? Do you wanna see more? Click the subscribe link and add the Dirt Tracks channel and you're gonna see a whole lot more great content.